<laughs> um, da, da, da. Doom Eternal will come into Game Pass. Next gen upgrades with ray tracing, or you can select performance up to 120, I think they said. Yes. Um, also coming to Game Pass are is the Evil Within 2, Rage, Fallout, Fallout 2, Fallout 3, Fallout Tactics, Dishonored, Arx, Fatalis. Oh, I don't remember what that is. <laughs> uh, Fallout 76 is getting uh, Steel Rain DLC and Expeditions of Pit is coming in 2022. Does anyone care about 76? No, I'm happy mm. for the people who do care and that game All runs five. now. I'm happy for yeah. them. <laughs> Don't care. I, I'm really interested in the mm-hmm. fact that they're. I did not expect them to put Fallout 1, 2, and Tactics on PC Game Pass. Not because like they couldn't, but just because I was almost thinking, like, are they, is there going to be... Do they maybe think there's no market for that? Just because of big corporate thinking, but I guess not, and I think that's really cool that people are, more people are going to be able to play those classic games. Um, mm-hmm. What was weird for me is I feel like... Because I noticed like Rage was on Game Pass, I think, at one point, and then got taken off, didn't it? Rage Two so. was not the original. Before, yeah, Rage Two was before the act. Was, was on there before the acquisition. Like it was like Rage Two was on there before the uh, the Microsoft. And Doom and Doom Doom One was before and then got taken off, right? And now it's yeah. going back on. For what it's worth, Rage One isn't that great. Mm-mm. Play Rage Two, which also isn't that it, great. Yeah, Rage Two isn't that great. It's like the equivalent of like junk food. Yeah. <laughs> not it. Rage Two, not as bad as the first, but still not great. Just, just play that mad, that that mad, mad Max game. That was yeah, the one by Avalanche. Yeah. Uh, that has problems, but it's a way better game from what I remember. Instead of playing Rage Two, just play Mad Max and then play Doom Eternal. You get both of them, but like, <laughs> like way better. I was very surprised that uh, Fallout seventy six is apparently one of the most popular games on Game Pass. They didn't like put statistics out there or like I what don't actual. Know other, I believe that. I think you would actually be surprised. A lot of people fucking love 76. They do. I, it's I don't. It's a service but... game, no? That's like, wild. Yeah. I yeah. won that game. What? Games. I said I won that game. <laughs> <laughs> it was a contest at my old job and I won that game and played it once. I was like, wow. Did you really win? Again. <laughs> That's a good point. That's a fair point. I, I didn't feel like a winner. Wait, made, made you wish for a nuclear winner. You I remember you. all the excited people because I because I was a game oh, yeah. when that game came out, and just everyone was so hyped. I get to play Fallout with my friends, and then three days later, trading it in. Every, everyone was able to then see through the veil and realize, <laughs> oh no, it's not a feature; it is a bug. Oh, it was terrible. That was the worst time. It just and then works. corporate made a ship back sixty copies of it. We had to pack up sixty copies of it. Oh, my God, it was terrible. I, man. I will <laughs> say, from playing it after they like quote-unquote fixed a lot like it was definitely a more enjoyable experience but if it wasn't free i probably or at least like 20 bucks i probably never would have played it and i I don't have much desire to play it still i think that's why it ballooned was like specifically because of game pass um i sure as hell never would have fucking played it uh to move on elder scrolls online getting a console enhancement that's about it uh i'm actually excited about this next one party animals it's basically gang beast but it doesn't run like ass and you can actually connect to people is that from the same developers because i was i i I, I checked it it's not interesting which is is weird because the animations look like on fucking point so so maybe it's the same people like they made a different studio because it looks exactly like gang beasts but yeah, uh, Gang Beast, oh, fuck Gang Beast, uh, Party Animals, which is basically Gang Beast 2, looks pretty damn good. It's going to be a good party game. Good drunk game. Uh, oh, yeah. Other forms of inebriation and whatnot. Uh, Hades is coming to Game Pass. That's cool. Um, really? I, I still haven't beat it all the way. I beat it one time. I still haven't played well, it's it. Coming, um, not from avoiding yeah, it's, it. Just, I keep forgetting it's coming to, to it Xbox and PlayStation. I have seen yeah. the light. I'm playing it on Switch. <laughs> and I am. I am on main. It. Like my cousin bought it for me, and I still haven't started. I feel bad. Well, see, that studio does not make bad games, even though I haven't been able to even. I have never been able to beat uh, Transistor. My God, do it, that. please! Transistor is my know, favorite game by the. Backlog is too big. There's a button. It's not a backlog. It's a collection. Uh... It'll. That that will shift your uh, your attitude towards your towards your uh, supposed backlog. You'll embrace it. Uh, uh, Plague Tale Requiem, Plague Tale Two, basically. Um, I'm stupidly excited for this. They didn't show too much in the trailer. It's just kind of like a tease for the story. Bunch of rats. Right. Um, ma- ma- many rats. 
freaking World not, not, War Z wave of rats. Um, that first game is like one of my favorite games from 2019. Like, like if you take like I, th I think I was talking about uh, Alan Wake in the same regard. Where if you take like any specific element like out of context, it's it's probably not that great in of itself. But when you combine everything, whether it's the narrative, the pacing, the gameplay, the way each of your verbs kind of like intermingle with one another with different uh, factors and variables in the environment, it creates like the tightest fucking game I've played in a fucking really long time. So I I'm super excited for a sequel. Plus, probably playing uh, Plague Tale 1 in the middle of a pandemic might have been a bad idea, but it was cool. I played Pathologic 2 in the middle of the pandemic, and boy, that was cathartic in the worst way. I, I had to stop <laughs> playing Days Gone in the middle of the pandemic, because I almost cried. I'm like, yeah, I can't do it. <laughs> can't do it. <laughs> Did we all play different, really bad idea games to play in the middle of a pandemic? I played Resident Evil 3, and that game starts with a bunch of news stories about a pandemic. <laughs> I, I, was, I remember in Days Gone, there's a scene where, like, guys in hazmat suits were, like, que uh, queuing up people, Ooh. and I'm like, oh, here in Florida, we just got those checkpoints. Yeah, I'm not gonna play yeah. this game anymore. <laughs> I'm not playing this game. Uh, let's see. Slime Rancher 2, Xbox exclusive, never really played the first one. It's so good, I'm so excited. It looks cool. I, I know nothing about it, so I'm happy for people that are happy. You throw slimes in pens, and it makes bigger slimes. That's cute. They're so cute. Uh, Atomic cute. Heart look uh, is that yeah Atomic Heart looks pretty cool it's uh it's a sci-fi shooter with a lot of robots and psychic powers but yeah. not much of a story but it definitely going like to keep Bioshock an eye out for it with, without like the bad politics yeah it looks they, like Bioshock and Singularity that, almost the, the game uh, I have the not played have come out and said that Bioshock was an inspiration I can't wait for the game to both sides me uh oh the protesters were just as bad think about it. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh, um, replaced uh, Game Pass Xbox exclusive. It's it's that, that two cool. point it's that, that two point so five D cool. game. It's got the cyberpunk uh, yeah. kind of like thriller aesthetic. Apparently cool. the uh, the uh, story of it they haven't said much, but it's about an AI being forced into a human body, and I'm just like, give me that cyberpunk shit. Let's go. Oh yeah. <laughs> well, I guess I that's two cyberpunk games you can't buy on PSN. Well, because you can get it on Game Pass free. Because it's Xbox But I will exclusive. most likely buy it because it's <laughs> like weird playing indies on Game Pass. I'd rather give them the money. Hey, I agree with that sentiment, even though I don't feel that weird about it because I'm just like, shit. I know that they got money for it being on Game Pass. But yeah, like I ended up buying Pathologic 2 on PSN before like it went off Game Pass just because I, wa mm. I wanted to support them. And it looks good. The the 2.5D style, like, I actually, my brain almost didn't register for a minute that it was 2.5D or whatever. Mm, or like 2D HD or whatever. Mm. Like, you know, then when, like, the hotel thing where they were climbing it in the one I was like, oh, these are, like, actually, like, fully rendered 3D backgrounds, but they're blending with the 2D. That's incredible. Oh, also, CJ, if you need to cut out at any point, since we're going a bit over, feel, feel free You're to... You're good. The beauty of unemployment means I don't have anything to do tomorrow morning. Our our uh, our, co our code word is for you to just flip me off. That that'll be your code word for I got to do. That that's that's when I have to dip. Whatever. Are you I'm saying like, that I've been typing messages in chat for no reason? What like? <laughs> <laughs> well, well, I was gonna say like, what if I wanted to flip you off just because I really wanted to? Like, is there any way I can do it without like it meaning I have to get off? Yeah, you have to dab first. Okay, you know what? Never mind then. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> um. Shit. Uh, let's go through these. We want to. Uh, the Ascent uh, comes out July 29th. It's on Game Pass. Uh, so this, not this month, next month. Uh, it's an oh, isometric yeah, co-op shooter. Yeah, it, looks it reminds solid. me of uh, Alien Swarm. Yeah, like just some kind of dungeon crawler, kind of, sort of looks neat. <laughs> uh, let's let's see. So I think that's about it for the Xbox showcase. We did. Uh, what was it? Red. What was the uh, Redfield? No, that's Red Chris. Mm -hmm. Shit. Redfall. Red Redfall. There we go. Red not Redfield. Yeah. It's back for yeah. blood. Colon the vampire version. It's basically. <laughs> like possibly. And also like possibly Borderlands. It's, it's Borderlands. It, back for blood. Got, Colin. Like you got a, Rainbow Six Siege. You got but. a sniper with a bird. You got a woman with powers. You got a turret. It's Borderlands. Oh my god, you're right! Edgar, Edgar Allan Bro, which I'm here for. I mean, you have a little robot named Wavon, so I thought that was pretty fucking funny. Oh, it's named Wavon? 
I thought she, she keeps say, calling saying Wevon, so I don't know oh, if like no. that's. I know, I know, I know. Oh, no. it's I, so know. I know, I know, I know. 